And to our top story for you now, and a daring rescue mission is taking place right now to save six children and two teachers trapped in a cable car almost 300 metres above a ravine in Pakistan. Well, for more now on this, I'm joined by journalist Zahir Shah Shirazi in Peshawar. Um, Zahir, first of all, g give us the very latest on this daring rescue operation, which involves a helicopter and military personnel trying to reach the cable car. Uh, well, the rescue operation, which was uh, carried by the Pakistani military helicopters, two helicopters were involved, and they have reached that cable car, which is suspended almost uh, 9,000 feet above the ground. And uh, initially, they tried to rescue some people, but uh, the wind blowing was so fast that it was not possible uh, for the sling operation to be carried out. Yes, they did uh, supply some uh, food and also necessary medicines to the uh, people who are trapped there. There are eight of them, six are children uh, who are the school children and uh, two school teachers who are, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the authorities are trying to rescue. But actually the wind was very fast and uh, the helicopters hovering there, uh, there was a, a huge trouble and uh, the, the cable car was swinging. That's why that operation was called off and now the SSG commandos are being called in and they are likely uh, try to try to rescue uh, uh, the people who are trapped and uh, it is likely they would be using a bucket type of a technique uh, where a bucket would be uh, uh, hung from the helicopter from a distance and they would try to carry out one by one uh, 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 all of these people who are still being trapped still early in the morning at about 8.30 a.m. Yeah, that, that's, it's been going on for quite some time, hasn't it, Zahir? So, uh, as you say, the, the helicopter had to steer away be, at that time because there's only one cable car, uh, cable tie, rather, a cable left attached to this chairlift. Um, the commandos are going in right now, but they'll also be fighting the light soon, won't they? Because it's already four o'clock in the afternoon local time. Well, there, there are two uh, handicaps. First is the weather and the second is the last cable because two of the cables had broken and now they are taking very care. We have spoken to the uh, uh, DIG of that range uh, and he was saying that the rescue operation, uh, they tried to rescue uh, uh, these people through the helicopters, but there was a problem because of the uh, fast wind. But, you know, the, the, the evening is approaching and it's likely to be dark in these areas because it's a very far up uh, Batagram district where this incident took place. And it's about three to 400 kilometers from Islamabad. And uh, it's a very remote, rough terrain. Uh, the communication network is very... The only source of reaching that area is uh, by the air. And it's likely, perhaps, that uh, more helicopters are being called in. The SSG commanders are likely to arrive. And they would be carrying out uh, a, a specific type of uh, a military type of commandos operation to rescue these people. Yes, Ima. And Zahir, you mentioned the use of some kind of large bucket being dropped down. How, how is that different? I'm not sure if, if you know what the commandos plan to do or how that will work. Well, actually, uh, the problem is that when the helicopters uh, get near to the cable car, it's uh, uh, suddenly the, the, the wind which is coming out from the helicopters, uh, 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 they are very, it's, it's very, very, uh, you know, fast. So it's just... Uh, move away the cable car and it creates a problem. And there is a danger that if this uh, cable car keeps on swinging, uh, it's likely that the third and the only last cable, it is likely to broke. So now what they're likely to plan, perhaps they're, uh, try, they would try to hang a bucket from a, a far off distance, at least uh, 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 two to 300 meters. And uh, obviously that the, the, the children and the, the teachers who are in this cable car, they're likely to be shifted to that a bucket and after that it's likely that they would be carried out to a safer place and even if uh, the cable get broken uh, they would have an alternate and uh, 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 the, the VQ they would be likely to be carried out to the safety through this bucket but let's see we have to wait uh, the commandos are likely to arrive and then uh, there would be a relaunch of uh, uh, the, spe the specific and the final stage of uh, uh, this operation to rescue these people. Yeah, that, that is extraordinary what is unfolding there in Pakistan this, this afternoon. Um, Zahir, to give people context, we've already discussed as, as well with our Asia correspondent, but uh, you know this area very well, that this is a regular mode of transport. People don't actually have much alternative because it could take days or weeks to take an alternative, so they have to use these chairlifts. 
Well, actually, this, these chairlifts are usually uh, the, the, the ordinary mode of traveling between different villages. They are located in this drugs mountains and on the one mountain and the other mountain. And even the schools, the people there, they have to carry their... Uh, uh, Zahir, thanks very much indeed. We seem to have lost that connection there. And that is too part of this story, of course, because it is a remote area where that rescue operation is still underway and unfolding, trying to rescue six children and two teachers from a, a chair stroke cable car, uh, getting them across from one mountainside to another. We'll keep you up to date on that as and when we get any more information.